Just one day after the body of 13-year-old Maddie Soto was found, the prime suspect in her disappearance was a no-show in court today. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Manny Martinez. Stefan Stearns waived his first appearance before a judge this morning for the second time in just a span of a few days. He's now facing sexual battery and child pornography charges, but has not so far yet been charged in Maddie's death. Fox 35's Matt Trezza explains why more charges could be on the way. Stephen Stearns was a no-show for his first appearance in Osceola County Court. His lawyer didn't even want the judge reading out the charges. Stephen Stearns? Or Your, Stephen Honor, Your Honor, at this time, I am going to waive Mr. Stearns' appearance. I'm also going to waive the reading of these charges. Mr. Stearns is aware of what he's been arrested for. At the first appearance, Stearns faced charges including sexual battery and possession of material depicting sexual performance by a child. Stearns had voluntarily handed his phone to investigators who managed to recover photos and videos that they called disturbing. Investigators say he's also the prime suspect in Maddie Soto's disappearance. Search teams finally recovered Maddie's body Friday evening after an exhaustive search through the woods in Osceola County. The judge said Stearns would stay behind bars. Understood, sir. You got zero bond and 24 CF 632. Good luck to you. What a gutless wonder. So accounts are coming out that he'd been giving attention to Maddie for two years prior to this event. Not only was he so depraved that he had videos on his phone of his actions, but clearly he's got no remorse for what he did. Otherwise, why would he not face up to court? I realise that this appearance was a mere formality simply him being there to have his charges read out to him and for bail to be not set but honestly he killed a child i know people are calling her a teenager but she was only a teenager by a few days this man killed a child but clearly he has so very little regard for the life that he took, that he didn't even have the decency to show his face in court. I'm actually surprised that the judge didn't read the charges regardless. I know that it is his right to waive having the charges read and that his lawyer was well within their rights to request that, but I think the judge is a better person than I am. Had I been the judge, I would have insisted on reading out those charges. I did, however, quite like and very much appreciate the way after saying, you've got no bond, the judge then said, good luck to you. So, yeah, Stearns, good luck to you. You deserve every single thing that is coming your way.